All right, today we're going to talk about flying speed and having a consistent flying speed. Our goal is to make sure that we have the same amount of air going across the surfaces pretty much all the time. What that does is it makes the plane feel consistent and it allows the plane to be predictable. It's really hard to, to have a plane that is unpredictable. It's really hard to set up a plane to make it so that it flies smooth and precise and has the ability to do 3D if it's all over the place. Now, within the balanced triangle, we have the center of gravity, thrust, and throw. Your center of gravity is a constant. If we make your speed a constant, then we can start playing with throw. Then we can start playing with the amount of expo that is used to help determine what you need to do to get the plane to fit your flying style. A plane that doesn't fly well or a plane that doesn't fit your style, it may fly perfectly fine for someone else, but it's going to make it really hard for you to learn how to do certain things. In order for us to really fine tune a plane, to dial in a plane so that we can make sure that the expos are set up right, so that the CG is set up right. First thing we need to do is make the plane predictable. I know how far out and how wide the plane is gonna go, how long it takes. If I'm, if I'm doing a knife edge circle, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? I can count that out. So say I do a loop, okay? If I keep that consistent speed, it allows the plane to be far more predictable. Doesn't mean I fly well, but at least it's predictable. To just say, hey, I want to learn how to do a rolling harrier. Learning how to do a rolling harrier takes years of practice and tons of work. Having control of a rolling harrier, you know, that's when it's cool. Doing a, a left hand rolling harrier and doing a left hand turn with that rolling harrier. Turning around and doing the same thing and doing a right hand turn. You know, a figure eight with a rolling harrier. That's control. And we can get there if you have a good setup plane. If your plane is set up well, if the plane is not set up well, you're gonna fight it the whole time. And it may not be the plane. It may just be how it's set up, how you fly. Um, one of the biggest mistakes that I see with people when they're first learning you know, they'll come up, they'll do an upline and they're full throttle on the upline. And then they come up here and whatever it is that they do, then they cut and then they're full throttle. And, and it's the amount of air that goes off of the surfaces varies so randomly that you can't ever make your plane predictable. If you're somebody who is constantly pushing the throttle, well, as long as you're consistent with it, you can do anything you want. You can make the plane do anything you want. It just really depends on your flying style. And, and the real goal is consistency. All right, so what are some of the ways that we can determine a constant flying speed? You know, wh what I say is, if I can fly knife edge and I only have to give it just a little bit more throttle, I'm really in pretty good shape, okay? So does that mean that my knife edge is flat? You know, is it is it the full throttle, no tail deflection, straight knife edge? Nope, for me, that's not it, okay? I'm all over the place and I, it's too fast and unpredictable. For me, I wanna make sure that I have just enough rudder that I'm comfortable and I'm flying off of the prop, okay? 
So when I'm looking at my constant speed, I want it predictable. I want it so that when I'm doing rolls, I know exactly where the plane is going to be and how much rudder and how much elevator I'm going to use to make things look pretty. Now, if I fly like crap, then it's on me. But if I can stay pretty consistent, then I can add some variability by slowing it down or speeding it up just a little. And things are going to look much cleaner. It's going to make setting up this plane so much easier. So your goal is to find your flying speed. Find your flying speed. Once you have your flying speed, now we've got a lot of room we can work with. 